Hi guys, welcome to Creativity Incorporated. My name is Diana. <clears throat> For today's um, project, I wanted to use this case, it's a cassette case, but before I do that, I wanted to show you how what I used it for before. I was storing my caster collection, and I, I, I know you guys know I'm a crazy collector, but this is it. But this is my 2.0 uh, writing box or traveling box. Okay, this is my previous box. <clears throat> and um, as you can tell, it's a old chest thing. Um, there's a video as to what I did to it. It wasn't originally this color. But um, yeah, there's a, there's a whole video on this one, but I kind of just wanted to show you. I rehinged it. Is that what I called? You make your own, you put your own hinge. Well, it's not a hinge, but I put a piece of leather so it straps. It opens like this. And it's able to go flat just so that I can still use it as chess. I mean, I will never use it as chess. But my son and my husband play. And so I was thinking maybe they can do that while I do this. I don't know. But um, so this is the inside of it. Uh, let me move the camera so you guys can see. Okay. So here are the chess pieces. Uh, I painted some um, pieces that I found at a secondhand store. And some are gold and some are blue or whatever. I don't know. Um, I put it in this little baggie. And then I have a book. I used to have this book here. I made it. So I matched this book. But as you can imagine, it no longer fits. It used to fit. Like in the video, it fits and everything, but it'll, it's like twice the size of that now. So now I use this one, which is also on a video that I made. It's all glued in and it's cute. It fits perfect. This is my sticker. It used to have like a thing, a wrap, a leather strap, but I put Velcro on it and it's just my stamp. I mean, my sticker. I put acetate sheets here or sticker sheets. And then I could just use it to put my stickers on there and just to use, um, put my ephemera on here. This is a pocket. I put um, washi tapes here, like in little things like this. And there's stuff in here. And there's also a pocket here. These are actually... Um, paper fasteners, but I used it as that. Here's a ephemera stuff in here and here and in here. And... Anyways, I'm like going over something that if you want to see how I made it, this has its own video. Um, put some ephemera here, clips. I have a little glass bottle. It's the cutest thing. It's a little spray glass gun bottle. And then this is how it would um, craft if I needed to open all the way I would just remove the strap and then it will close yes so and then I will just close it like this now and I can just take it so I'm going from that to this right so I've taken out my casters from the inside and, oh, I was taking off the, there was like a glue here. Oh, I was taking that off. I'm glad it came out because um, I didn't want to rip the paper. And if like you, it was too bulky to like just put another piece of paper on top of it. So I managed to like, I guess because it's so old, it was just popping out. Sort of like popcorn, like the ceiling popcorn kind of thing. Now, I love... I love, love that it has this brown velvet because since it's going to be used with this book, I want it to match, right? I don't know why I feel like my kid has to travel, match my traveler case. But in this case, I want it to match, I guess, more because I want, um, I want it to look like a matching set. But anyways... 
So in order for me to know what I want to do inside, I want I need to know what I want to fit in there. I know I have in here. Um, oh, did I just do that? Yes, I did. Anyways, well, see, I have my brushes. I have the markers, and then I have colored pencils in here too. I have my graphing tin and some of the water colors here. And so I want to be able to use this this way, like if I was using it this way. But you know what? I thought it'd be very handy if I'm able to also use it this way. So like if I'm drawing something and I have everything this way, I thought it'd be cool too because, you know, I could like, I don't know, I could, I don't know, work here. Fine. If I need shade or something, or I just need to access everything here, and then it could also work here too. I'm gonna have to put the straps here so that I'm able to remove them if I want it open all the way. Oh look, it opens all the way too. Hmm. Okay, so because it looks like a table sort of too. Anyway, so um, you know what? I could do checkers on this one. No, that would be fun though. But no, no, I'm not gonna do it. Anyway, so um, I wanna do these, and then I also wanna, um, I just recently purchased a large, the large palette of wash tape for the Himi, and I wanted to see if I can somehow make a little palette or buy a palette. No, I'm not into buying, but make a little palette that fits in here and maybe some ephemera maybe some ink stuff i don't know we'll see i don't i don't want to remove this yet because i don't know if i'm going to use it because i could put something else here but then i want it to match and this match even though as cheapy as it is I, it matches perfectly but i could put something else here and let's just use this right Oh, is it long enough for it to cover the bottom? Because the bottom is black. I don't know, it looks green, huh? The bottom is black, but since it's damaged, I, I was thinking maybe I put a bottom. But I don't know. So uh, let's work on it together. While we have um, that drawing, I want to make something for my paints. And I'm aware, look, I even have one here. I'm aware they exist. Like, there's this thing that has the palette, and you can open it, and it has the palettes there. Um, I, I think I was gifted this, or I picked it up a yard sale. I don't know. I didn't buy it new, so I don't know where it comes from. Um, but it looks like there was two here now that I see. But I was going to say there's a lot of wasted space here. And um, I like the concept that it's made out of wood. I don't like that it's so thick because, um, I don't know, 
but I do like the size. Mm, I kind of like, I don't mind the thickness. Actually, I think maybe I can use this. Look. Yeah, maybe we can use this. Okay, let me show you what I was going to do. Yeah, because I can... Look, maybe my sticks fit. I may have that thickness too. It's a little... Okay. Okay, because I'm, this is the idea of a box, okay. So I have this, this is balsa wood. These two are balsa wood. This one seems to be a little stronger than this one. This one seems like almost like paper. Okay, so I was going to do this. And then I was going to do this around. Right? Like this, all the way around. And I was going to use this little thicker one to bind the scene in the middle. Um, and then for my dividers, I was going to use these popsicle sticks that by miracle of God, they're the same exact, like, I mean, exact thickness of this. So when I was gathering my, um, materials, I, I was like, imagine if, oh, no way, Jose. So, um, I was really happy. So I was able to, um, to put in my mind mentally and and look it's the thickness of this minus the corners that i i would cut from there you know so perfectly i could put potentially i could put like if this is a four by four i could divide it by four this way and by four this way leaving me uh 16 and 16. now the palette of paints that i have that i would like to feel from is 54 and i wouldn't mind 32 but if I can get more, I would like more. Okay, so <clears throat> I am going to keep this box. And then to make use of this side of the storage, I mean box, I'm going to use it as um, where I'm going to put my brushes. And I found this pen at um, this store called Daiso. It's um, like a little spray bottle, but then it's also a pen. I really loved it. Um, what was I gonna say? So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna put more brushes, and I'm gonna put like this little stretchy band here. Um, I do want to do this thing to hopefully stop the pouring over. I just want to take a little bit of precaution. So I started shaving just the top, so I can have a little recess for this, like this because if I put it here, it would float on the top. And I don't want that, I want it to go inside. So to do that, I'm shaving some of it off and just a little bit. So, um, so you can see how I'm doing it here. And then all I'm doing is um, grabbing my knife and just, cause this balsa wood so is pretty easy. Um, I'm doing that. I liked the colors on here, but, um, and I
Okay, so while that dries, I wanted to show you how beautiful this looks. It's not perfect because it's, you know, wood and stuff, but man, it's so good. Um, so what you saw me doing before was um, there was gaps on this side because when I did these cuts in order to do efficiently, I just kept on like measuring the same spot and then... Um, some spots were i guess different and you know makes sense it got wet and it's wood and so it warped so these right here i don't know if you could see there's gaps so what i did is i pulled some of the the uh, resin here and now see still it uh breached the gap so now i don't have any more gaps but i only did this all the sides and the i i kind of pushed it to the side so now what i'm going to do is opposite i'm gonna pull it on this side that way it's what it's sealed all around this and i'm gonna make sure i go here and all the bridges and all the um, this side so pull so it's it's dried now it's fully dried in 72 hours but it's um it's hard enough i guess that where i could put another layer in 12 hours and it has been 12 hours so i'm gonna do it again and i'm gonna um, put uh, more resin on this side I could have sworn I kept on pushing some up but it feels like I did nothing um, so look but it does look like on this side I did so I don't know um, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna use this side I figured that um, I'm gonna take I'm gonna put my brushes in a, something that I can take off and maybe maybe put on a stand and then I can use this to mix, right? Perfect. So um, I want to put more uh, res casting resin on the sides and finish this side off while uh, that dries.
Okay, guys, so here's the box. I put some of the alcohol ink here, and I noticed that it was kind of staying there. And so um, I added some black or ash. I think it was ash. Or um, it's, it was a gray one. I don't remember the name. But um, I added some browns too to the to the metal, and it, 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 it looks good. I love how the antiquing of the edges looks. I, look, I think it looks very realistic. It doesn't. I don't think it looks like a cassette holder anymore. But uh, here we go. And here it is. Wait, can you see it? There we go. Uh, I plan on um, what's it called? Putting something here, like I did on my other one. On oh, here, let me fix it up. Um, like little straps right here, like I did on the other one, so that it looks um, so that it stands, and you can unhook it and hook it back on. But um, this thing is. Since it's cardboard, I have to be really careful as to what I attach to it, like from the outside. So um, I wanted to attach straps so I can put my journal on the outside. And it's just, I'm not scared, but I'm scared. You know what I mean? Anyways, look, since I'm, I'm going on a road trip again this weekend, I've already put some snacks. Um... I got my cup with my stuff. It looks wonky and funky, but um, it makes me happy. <laughs> I don't know why. Look, I can just stand it on the side. Because, you know, I've had um, the one side that are like fabric and you can stand it. And like, I don't know, they weren't comfortable. And I want to try this and I'm hoping it's comfortable. It feels sturdy, feels bottom heavy, so... I really enjoy it. I have a clip to clip on my book. I have, of course, my book to. I, I put the I put one of these on here, and I have it ready to go. Ready to go. I put a another one in here. I figure I might as well um, make it all match right. And then there's this one right there. There's, of course, a bunch of them there. I have my eraser there. And then, let me see what else I got. I got my pens. Then I got the washi tapes. And you guys saw I made an, a, a, a thick pocket for this same exact purpose. And I got my papers in the back of this pocket the ones that hold this and then there's a big pocket in the back so it's like a multi-level and it holds really well i really liked how this came out and i like how it kind of like moves to the side a little bit and i can just like i love this eraser i actually bought it for my son but he didn't like it and i was like i'll take it and i i like how it like tucks in there and i have my little water bottle i was thinking of making like a one stand here I think it would look super cool but um, I would make it I think it would be on the way when I close this here like this I think it would like hit right here not sure yet so I gotta try it out and play with it but I want to finish this project because I'm going to a meetup of other journalers and I'm super excited to use it and so I'm just gonna wrap it up so that I can enjoy it tomorrow in my journal. I'm super, super excited. I may put like labels or like, you know, those traveling stickers and patches. I think that's what I wanna do on this one. Um, I love, love how it came out. Uh, how it looks like it's being worn in the edges. And look at the bottom. I love how it, it kind of feels like a suitcase now kind of hanging out but I really enjoyed it 
I hope you guys did too. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Till next time, guys, stay crafting. And I love you guys. Bye.